A thunderous cross check resonated through a packed arena, and a bone-crushing hit transformed a playoff night into a harrowing tale. It was a hit that turned a player's night into a horror story. Brace yourself as we delve into the NHL's most jaw-dropping intent to injure moments. On February 6, 2016, the Philadelphia Flyers and the New York Rangers clashed on the ice. But the real drama unfolded when Wayne Simmons, the Flyers forward, decided to take on Ryan McDonough. With the clock ticking down to the intermission, a cross-check from McDonough met Simmons' face. Not one to back down, Simmons retaliated with a swift slash and a punch. In the aftermath, Simmons got the boot with a match penalty, while McDonough took a short break with a double minor. Up next, February 23rd, 2016, saw the New York Rangers and the New Jersey Devils in a fierce face-off. But as the second period was about to wrap up, JT Miller of the Rangers had a bone to pick with Sergei Kalinin. The two tussled, but Miller's tape knuckles stole the show. When Kalinin got a cut from the brawl, the refs were quick to point out Rule 46.15. Miller's taped up hands had landed him in hot water, earning him a match penalty. March 2nd, 2019 was more than just a game between the Calgary Flames and Minnesota Wild. Early in the second period, Garnet Hathaway, the Flames forward, showcased a move that would have been more at home in a wrestling ring. Dodging a hit, he took the opportunity to slam Luke Cunnan's head right into the boards by the Wilds' bench. The crowd gasped as Cunnan, the Wilds' young forward, felt the full force of Hathaway's wrath. It was April 6, 2014, a night that would live in infamy for fans of the Philadelphia Flyers and Buffalo Sabres. In the third period, Zach Ronaldo crashed into Chad Ruedel, leaving fans and players alike in shock. The hit was a recipe for disaster, leading to Ronaldo's ejection and a power play for the Sabres. Though Ruedel left with a concussion, the Flyers soared to a 5-2 victory. The stage was set on May 30th, 2021 for an epic playoff showdown between the Vegas Golden Knights and the Colorado Avalanche. But as the third period drama unfolded, Ryan Reeves, known for his hard hits, took things too far. In a post-whistle frenzy, he zeroed in on Ryan Graves, unleashing a fury that left fans gasping and Graves grasping. A punch, a shove, and a knee later, Reeves found himself slapped with a match penalty. It was a moment that blurred the lines between passion and sheer recklessness. May 24, 2023 was supposed to be just another playoff game between the Dallas Stars and the Vegas Golden Knights. But just moments into the first period, Jamie Benn, captain of the Stars, crossed a line, literally. He unleashed it all on Mark Stone with a cross check that echoed across the rink. The refs were swift, and Ben's night was cut short just 42 seconds into his game time. March 29, 2016 wasn't just another game night for the Chicago Blackhawks and the Minnesota Wild, especially for Duncan Keith. After a legal check from Charlie Coyle sent him sprawling on the ice, Keith's frustration boiled over. In a moment of sheer retaliation, he swung his stick, catching Coyle right across the face. Blood and disbelief spilled onto the ice. Keats' night ended there, ejected for his reckless swing, leaving a stain on the game. The playoffs are a pressure cooker, and on May 11, 2023, it blew its lid. The Vegas Golden Knights were facing the Edmonton Oilers, and Alex Petrangelo carried the weight of the game on his shoulders. But with the Oilers leading 4-1, Petrangelo slashed on Leon Dreisaitl and screamed his frustration. And when Connor McDavid stepped in, the ice turned into a battlefield. However, Petrangelo's slash cost him a seat in the crucial Game 5. March 25th, 2023 was a day of reckoning in the rink for the Los Angeles Kings and the Winnipeg Jets. With the clock ticking down in the second period, Lazotte's stick crashed into Josh Morrissey's face, a move that shocked spectators and players alike. The ref's verdict was swift. Lazotte was out. But the league's gavel came down harder, marking him with a one-game suspension. March 8, 2007 was a night of high tension between the New York Islanders and the New York Rangers. 
the ice was a stage, and Chris Simon was about to turn the third period into a horror show. After a crushing check from Ryan Hallweg, Simon, fueled by rage, swung his stick like a weapon, striking Hallweg in a moment that left spectators in shock. The aftermath was a record-breaking 25-game suspension for Simon, turning his retaliation into a cautionary tale. On April 21st, 2015, Tom Wilson of the Washington Capitals became a human wrecking ball. Fresh from the penalty box and with adrenaline pumping, Wilson set his sights on Lubomir Vishnovsky of the New York Islanders. The hit was monstrous, sending shockwaves through the arena and Vishnovsky out of the game. April 17th, 2012 saw the Boston Bruins and the Washington Capitals locked in a playoff struggle. But it was a battle at the boards that stole the show. Fueled by a mix of frustration and retaliation, Nicholas Backstrom delivered a cross-check to Rich Peverly's face, earning not just a penalty, but the ire of fans and players alike. Backstrom called it stupid, an understatement for a move that cost his team dearly. Check out more of our hard-hitting videos, and check out our newest video, NHL's Head-to-Head -head Collisions.